Anyone uh, working in the office, we're working in our offices. Some people still working at home. Who's going to the office? Yeah, okay. We're like, no, we're not going to the office. I will tell you this. Uh, uh, you ever notice that when you go to the office early, you want everybody to know you're there? As opposed to when you come in late and you try to slip in, right? So recently I gotten up early and I uh, decided I was gonna go to work. So I got to work at 6.30 a.m. I don't advise that. <laughs> Do not advise that. So I needed everybody to know I was there. So you start walking down the hall looking for random people. So I see Mary all the way down the hall. And I'm like, Mary, hey girl. Look, I'm gonna put a pot of coffee on because I was here since 6.30. You want some? <laughs> Now Mary's looking at you like you're crazy because she's wondering, A, why you're yelling at her because she's always there at 6.30. She's one of those employees, right? <laughs> and she's trying to figure out why you're there because she doesn't see you before 8.45 normally when you should be there at 8. <laughs> I get there within the 8 o'clock hour, potato, potato. It's just, you know. <laughs> And then you find reasons to bring up that you came in early uh, when no one's even asking you, right? Like I'm in a meeting and Mike says, yeah, you know, the projections for next quarter are looking really good. And I said, you know what, Mike, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's funny you should say that because at 6.30 this morning when I was here, I was thinking the same thing about those projections. They're looking really strong for next quarter. Really, way to go, Mike, that's good. And then throughout the day, you have to start yawning, you know, so people can ask you, why are you yawning? And you're like, oh yeah, I've been here since 6.30. You gotta go full martyr mode, right? <laughs> Which, the yawning part wasn't too hard to do, because by nine o'clock, I was ready to go back home and go to bed, right? <laughs> so it's too much, it was too much. And the reverse of that is true, right? Like when you stay late, you want people to know you stayed in the office late. So you send ridiculous emails that don't have anything to do with anything. <laughs> other than their time stamped after the time you were supposed to get off, right? <laughs> so you say, hey, Mike, yeah, you're probably home with your family. I'm still in the office. Um, I just wanted to tell you, if you come in tomorrow and that pen that was on the floor in your office is now on your desk, I put it there. Because <laughs> I didn't want you to hurt yourself. Okay, Mike, let's talk tomorrow about those projections. Have a good night. <laughs> let's do that, right? And then you do the stupid things like go to the parking lot and notice your car is the only one there and you start taking selfies with your car and putting it on social media. Hashtag working late. Hashtag just me and the cleaning crew here. Hashtag employee of the month. I slept in the next day is what I'm saying. I was not doing that again. <laughs> 